These temperatures and those dangerous wind chills can be deadly, but they can also do a lot of damage to your property. State College Water Authorities had a few broken pipes this week, and there have been a number of multiple car accidents, both things that officials say we can work to prevent. And Aaron Calandra has some things to keep in mind when you're battling the elements. Wintry weather conditions may be to blame for this crash along I-99 in Spring Township Friday morning. Officials say this pickup truck rolled several times near the Harrison Road exit. According to emergency responders, the crash threw one person out of the vehicle, the other trapped inside. Both patients are being treated at the Mount Nittany Medical Center. No word on their conditions. Now police are warning drivers to slow down in this weather and give yourself extra room to make decisions. It's like you're driving against the elements. So as you're approaching an intersection, slow down, give yourself more time to stop. And if driving on a highway, officials are warning, turn off your cruise control. You want to be the one that's making the decisions when it comes to bad weather and bad roadways. So if you use cruise control, you're letting the car make the decisions. Officials from the State College Borough Water Authority say they've been battling the elements with a few water main breaks in the last few days. They say the temperatures that we're experiencing tonight will damage water pipes. Water is a very interesting thing. It freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit and water, unlike other chemicals that shrink when they get cold, would expand seven to ten times. Experts say your best defense is to insulate your pipes and keep checking on them. They say pipes should be cool, but if they're cold, you may be in trouble. In that case, they suggest turning your cold water on to a small drizzle overnight because moving water is harder to freeze. They say this advice is extra important for people living in mobile homes. If I said to you, would you rather spend three dollars and ninety-five cents? Or would you rather pay for the plumbing expense? You're going to say, I'll spend the $3.95. So turn your water on a tiny bit tonight. Erin Calandra, 6 News.